गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल नाउ आई एम डिस्कसिंग फ्यू ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फ्रीक्वेंटली आर्स फॉर द रेडियोग्राफर्स एग्जाम सो इट विल बी यू हेल्पफुल फॉर ऑल द रेडियोग्राफर्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जाम सो प्लीज डू वॉच ऑल द सेशंस एंड डू सपोर्ट मी वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट सिक्स एग्जाम कोचिंग फॉर रेडियोग्राफर्स I have already discussed fifty-six questions. Today I will be discussing the remaining questions frequently asked for the radiographer's exam. Question number fifty-seven: If generator capacity is twenty-four kilovolt, what will be the MA value at hundred kVp in an ordinary X-ray unit? I repeat the question: If Generator capacity is twenty-four kilovolt. What will be the MA? MA means milliampere, which determines the current value at hundred kVp. kVp means kilovolt peak, which is the voltage in an ordinary X-ray unit. Options are option A, hundred MA. Option B, two forty MA. Option C, three hundred MA. And option D for forty m. The answer is option B to forty m. It can be calculated from this equation: power equal to voltage into current. Here the power is twenty four kilo volt. Kilo means thousand, so it can be converted as twenty four thousand volt. And the voltage is hundred kVp. kvp means kilo volt peak so it can be calculated from this above equation and we can get the result ma ma means the current as 240 question number 58 gamma of a radiographic film is decided by option a base level region option b tau region option c straight line region and option d shoulder region the answer is option c straight line region the gamma value of a film is the maximum slope of the characteristic curve as shown here a film characteristic curve which is also known as the h and d curve showing the relationship between density and relative exposure so here you can see the optical density along the vertical axis and relative exposure along the horizontal axis and you can see a slope the uppermost area of this slope showing the shoulder region and the lowermost area of this slope showing the toe region so when you are corresponding this shoulder region with the optical density you can see a blackish area which determines the density density determines the degree of darkness in a radiographic film whereas the toe area showing the whitish area on the optical density region which determines that there is no exposure or no density have occurred so the gamma of a radiographic film means the film contrast can be determined from the straight line region of this slope question number 59 which radioactive material is applied in pet scan pet means positron emission tomography and it is seen in the nuclear medicine department option a f18 option b f16 option c f21 and option d f26 f stands for fluorine the answer is option a fluorine 80 positron emission tomography pet is a functional imaging technique that uses radioactive substances known as radio tracers 
to visualize and measure changes in metabolic process and in other physiological activities including blood flow, regional chemical composition and absorption. Different tracers are used for various imaging purposes depending on the target process within the body. For example, 18FFDG. Fluorine 18, FDG means fluorodeoxyglucose, is commonly used to detect cancer. Question number 16. AERB permitted radiation level for student radiation worker. Option A, 40 millisievert. Option B, 5 millisievert. Option C, 6 millisievert. And option D, 7 millisievert. The answer is option C, 6 millisievert. So the AERB recommended or permitted radiation level for occupational exposure of students and trainees between the 16 to 18 years of age shall be so controlled that the following limits are not exceeded. Effective dose of 6 millisievert in a year. Equivalent dose to the lens of eye is 50 millisievert in a year. Equivalent dose to the extremities is 150 millisievert in a year. And equivalent dose to the skin of 150 millisievert in a year. Question number 61. Gyromagnetic ratio is the term related to option A. Ultrasound. Option B. CT scan. Option C. Cat lab. And option D. MRI. The answer is option D. MRI. The gyromagnetic ratio of a particle is the ratio of the magnetic moment to its angular momentum. It is denoted by the symbol gamma and its SI unit is the radian per second per Tesla. Tesla is the unit of the magnetic field strength or equivalently the coulomb per kilogram. So if we are knowing the gyromagnetic ratio as well as the magnetic field strength, it will be easy to calculate the Lamar frequency. Question number 62. Lead equivalence of lead apron. Option A 0.05 mm lead. Option B 0.15 mm lead. Option C 0.25 mm lead. And option D 0.35 mm lead. The answer is option C 0.25 mm lead. Lead aprons are the primary radiation protective garments used by radiation worker. An apron with 0.5 mm thickness can attenuate approximately 90% or more of the scatter radiation. Question number 63. All are single side emulsion coated films except option A mammography film. Option B, CT film. Option C, X-ray film. And option D, MRI film. The answer is option C, X-ray film. The films used in the mammography, CT and magnetic resonance imaging have one emulsion layer. So called the single emulsion film. Whereas X-ray films are double coated with two emulsion layers. Question number 64. Cholangiogram is the contrast investigation of option A. Biliary system. Option B. Spinal cord. Option C. Portal system. And option D. Colon. The answer is option A. Biliary system. Cholangiography is the imaging of the bile duct also known as the biliary tree by x-rays after the ingestion of the contrast medium. Question number 65. What is ALARA stands for? Option A. Radioactivity. 
option b radiation protection and measurement option c radiation hazard and option d radio waves the answer is option b radiation protection and measurement the guiding principle of radiation safety is alara alara stands for as low as reasonably achievable this principle means that even if it is a small dose if receiving that dose has no direct benefit you should try to avoid it thank you so much for your patient listening hope you all have understood the question and the answers discussed today so stay tuned for the remaining questions and once again thank you so much